Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Shopify for the first time and build a sample store. Before I get started, I want to thank Tree Size First Etsy store for letting me use the product photos for this video. You can download the assets below the video player to follow along. Please note though that you'll be downloading different set of photos, but the image dimensions are same, so you'll have a good starting point. This video will be split into three steps. Step number one, sign up for the 14-day free trial at Shopify.com. General overview of the Shopify home. Step number two, we'll be importing the free Brooklyn Shopify theme from the marketplace. Step number three, add a slideshow, a product, and use CSV file to upload multiple products. So here is the Shopify page and I'm going to enter my email address here and click get started. It's going to ask where you like to start selling today. Just check the box next to the online store and click next. Here enter your name and address to set up currencies and tax rates and click next. It's going to ask you to tell a little bit about yourself. I'm just going to select I'm just playing around and zero dollars since I'm just getting started and click enter my store. So this is the Shopify home and where you'll be doing all the work. On your left is the navigation where you can access different sections of the Shopify admin. In the middle, you have a few shortcuts to assist you in quickly getting your store up and running, such as adding a product, selecting a theme, setting up a custom domain name, and etc. You can also buy and print USPS shipping labels right from your admin if you ship products yourself. Before you install the free theme, let's take a look at the current store. Click this icon to visit your online store. This is what the store looks like now. As you can see, it's pretty empty. Let's go back to the Shopify home. Now we need to install the free Brooklyn theme. Let's go to the online store, themes, and click visit theme store on the top right corner. The one we want is right here, called Brooklyn. If you can't find this one, simply use the search box located at the top right corner to find it. Click Install Theme and Publish as My Shop's Theme to start the installation process. After that's done, click Go to your Theme Manager. You should see View Your Online Store if you hover your mouse over the screen right here. Click to view the store. It looks a little bit different now and we have this slideshow to play around with. Let's go ahead and upload the first slideshow image. From the Shopify home, go to online store, themes, customize theme. On the right, it gives us options to change different settings of the theme. Click Homepage Hero Slideshow to upload the first slideshow image. Make sure the box is checked next to the Enable Slide 1. It says here to make sure the width of the image is 1200 pixels wide. I've already prepped all the images using Adobe Photoshop. But you can also use Pixlr which is a free online photo editor. You can check out my other tutorial on how to use Pixlr. I'm going to click Replace to upload the first image. It will start the upload process. Once that's done, you can see the preview on the left. The text is hard to see because it's black. You can simply change that by selecting light under the text color. And it will update automatically, which is a nice little feature. You can also preview your site in tablet and mobile device modes. Just click the monitor icon on the bottom left corner. So here is the tablet mode. As you can see, the theme is responsive, meaning your online store will look great in any device. I'm going to change the subheading text 
to say handmade in Belgium, and enter waxed canvas backpack in the heading text box. I'm now going to remove future products as I don't want that shown in the home page. So go to home page, future products, and choose none. Click Save Changes for the work we have done so far. Let's now add our first product. First, I'm going to show you how to add a product manually. And second, show you how to use the CSV file to upload multiple products in one shot. Click the Back to Themes page on the top left corner. Go to the Products page. Before I add the first product, I want to enter the names of the collection. And you can just think of these as your categories. If you look at the finished website, there are five collections. Rucksacks, tote bags, messenger bags, leather bags, and bicycle bags. Let's enter rucksacks first. Click Add a Collection and enter rucksacks for the title. You can add description, but I'm just going to skip that. For the conditions, I want to manually select products. You also have the search engine listing preview where you can enter the page title and meta description. This will be shown in search engines such as Google when people are searching for your products. I'm just going to skip this and upload the collection image and click Save Collection. Now go to the Products page and click Add a Product. I'm just going to enter Rucksack 001 as the title and paste the description here. To upload the product images, I can simply drag the images from my computer over to the browser window here. Images can be rearranged by holding your mouse over the thumbnail and drag. I'm going to enter $199 as the price. You have the option to charge taxes on this product or not. Let's scroll up. I'm going to select Rucksack as the collection. Click Save Product. Let's view the product from the online store. We have successfully added our first product. Now, if you have hundreds of products, it can be a pain to manually add one by one. This is where the CSV file comes in handy. From the Products page, you can download the CSV file template by clicking the Import. You can open this file from Google Spreadsheet. For this video, I'm using LibreOffice, which is free to download. Here you can enter product name, description, image link, and other fields. Make sure you have the product images already uploaded, or in another server as it uses the image URL link. Easiest way is to upload all the images in Shopify Home, which will generate the link for each image. To do that, go to Settings, Files, and click Upload Files. I'm going to select all the image files to upload. After that's done, you can see all the image URLs here, which you can copy and paste in the CSV file. Now let's go back to the product page to upload the CSV file. Click Import. Choose File, select the CSV file, and Upload File, and start import. Let's check out the changes from the online store. Looks pretty good. I can click one of the future collections to see the products. I have three products in leather bags. If I click one, it will go to the product page. If you haven't noticed, I've gone ahead and uploaded a couple more slideshow images here. And you can use the same process that you used to upload the first slideshow image. One more thing I want to do to this page is enter a few sentences here to tell people about the store. 
This section can be changed by going to online store, pages. We have a couple of options here, either to change the about us page or just on the front page. For this demonstration, only the front page will be changed. I'll paste in some text in here, and let's check it out from the home page. Now we have some information here on the home page to let the customers know that every item in the store are handmade. And that pretty much does it for this video. I hope you guys learned something, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I plan on having a few more videos related to Shopify. Thanks guys and take care.